believe that um, that Jesus' call to me to religious life probably began around seventh grade. And as I went to high school, uh, I definitely was nurtured by the Sisters of St. Joseph at St. Joseph Academy. I guess a turning point for me in high school would have been a retreat, my senior retreat that was given by a Jesuit priest, Father Jacques Weber. And uh, what uh, Father Weber did for us was to make Jesus real. And we saw the humanity of Jesus and how much Jesus loved us individually. And um, I think that sealed the deal for me. I, I believe that um, there was a, a certain attraction to be holy. How could I live a more Christ-like life in the way that I was a senior in high school? And how would that happen if I became a sister of St. Joseph? I feel that we stand on the shoulders of these great women that came in 1868, uh, right after the Civil War, and um, established a small school and an orphanage and a convent. Uh, the people of Baton Rouge were so generous in giving whatever they had uh, that it's, it's the same thing happens today. It's encouraging when we, when we meet young men and women who are ready to move forward in religious life and who, who appreciate companionship and who appreciate um, the way of Jesus, of, of being and acting as Jesus did. In January 2009, we are inaugurating a program in our diocese entitled Called by Name. In this program, we will invite people to submit names of those that they would consider suitable candidates for priesthood or religious life. I ask you to pray for this initiative, and I ask you to reflect on how God may be using you as an instrument of God for others. Let us pray for this intention. Let us work for this intention. Let us rely on the grace of God.